Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is taking on 2021 episode 4. Now first of all, I hope you're having a good day, but those of you that are new to this channel, because a lot of people are new to the channel coming into these videos, in fact this series has gained a lot of traction and it's doing amazingly compared to my other videos, so that's brilliant. But if you are new to this channel and new to this series in particular, basically I make loads of videos on kind of like productivity, motivation, fitness and all of that and just trying to become a better version of yourself. And that's where this routine comes in because January, start of January, and Anyway, today's actually February 1st. Um, at the start of January, yeah, it, it wasn't great. Motivation, productivity, getting your goals done was just non-existent, to be honest. And we were slipping into this kind of chaotic cycle of just awfulness. So we didn't want to do that. We started this new routine and kind of every week I bring as much energy as possible in every single Monday at 2 p.m. And I feel these videos are kind of energetic workouts, tips on how to boost your productivity, tips to help better this routine and just try and get to the best possible situation that you can be in help you achieve all that you want to achieve over this lockdown so if that sounds like something you want to be a part of something you want to keep watching then don't forget to hit the subscribe don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to comment what you want to see but otherwise here is taking on 2021 episode four let's get started Jesus, we've got a lot to catch up on today, but um, I'm going to go straight into the second full body workout of this new plan. So let's go, I'm going to have some snacks, then we'll get on with it. You don't know what I'm gonna do You don't know what is next And I'm loving the fact Truly it's making me blessed Cause I work on my team No snakes in the grass And we have the choice in the wind Because of the work that we did in the past Because of the work that we did in the past When we went to hours, you barely got breath So I get the realm and we didn't finesse So I get the feelings that we might be next Cause when we go in, we win in the match yeah, yeah. When we go in, we win in the match So that's how we do, cause we be the best yeah. We be the best, best, yeah, we be the best, well, yeah, we be the best, best, nah, we be the best, hey, yeah, we be the best, best, hey, we be the best, yo, you wanna come from a test, well, you want to see we the best, hey, you don't see that we're the best kid, so I suggest you never really come and test it, but otherwise I will smack your face like Michael Jordan does with a ball on the basket, oh damn kid, but you didn't expect it, you never really thought that this could just happen, but now I'm really coming and we pull out with the action, just keep on the feed, don't they don't get it like, Okay, right, workout is smashed. It was a great workout, I can't lie, but it's now half past. And I've got enrichment at 8.50, which basically is talking about student finance. So I'm gonna down this shake, get in the shower, get out of the shower, come do this uh, enrichment, and then we'll crack on with the day and I'll update you all. Yeah, let's go. Stop me I just hold on for dear life 
Okay, right, we just finished that. It was just an assembly on student finance and all that for university, so it was interesting stuff um, and just gave us some good information. But now it is 9.35 and in 10 minutes, at 9.45, I'm going on a call for some paid work stuff. So I'll have to get that done. It shouldn't last too long, probably like half an hour, I want to guess. And then after that, I'll be hitting up some physics cue cards before my maths period three and four. I've also got a new chair in a massive box over there that I need to unpack so I'll be doing that after the lesson we'll see all of that then I'm posting a business video and doing loads of editing bits for that I've also got to do obviously the two hour work slot that is registered in in this new routine obviously if you're coming in now and have no idea what any of this is all about in the first episode I outlined this completely new routine that I'm bringing into 2021 to try and make everything better because it just wasn't going well so if you want to watch any of the first three episodes they're up there nice oh god um so I'm gonna go do my teeth, all of that, grab a coffee and come back up, do this work, and then we'll check in. But a couple big things, first of all, this week, social media ban. It's been going good, but I've accidentally somehow managed to go onto the apps, even though they're locked. So I'll like click on it and then just out of habit, click ignore and go onto it. And then I'll kind of realize after like two minutes I'm on it, and I'm like, shh, balls, I'm on it. So I'd have to come off and stop. So obviously I haven't stuck to it rigorously, but it's definitely helped to reduce the amount of time I'm on it, which is really helpful. Second big thing is I've been going on loads of walks where I'm not feeling like doing the work. Go on a walk with like a coffee, green tea or something like that. Listen to like a motivational podcast or audiobook or on Blinkist that I linked in the last video. And that's been really helpful. It's been kind of getting me motivated, getting me inspired to tackle the work. And then just kind of taking a voice memo of what I'm thinking about that current point in time so that I can kind of track the progression of my emotional and mental state over time, if that makes sense. Yeah, so it's been good. The big thing today or over this last week that I've been using is the five second rule. So when I don't want to do something, I start counting down from five and I have to start by the time I get down to one. Mainly I've been using it to get out of bed because getting out of bed is like the hardest part of the day, but um, that really helps. Anyway, coffee time, let's go. Meeting's done, we absolutely smashed it. It's all all out of the way, ready to go. We kind of know what we're doing. Moving forward now, almost ready to launch. But um, yeah, I've got 20 minutes till my online lesson starts. So, it's time to build a new chair. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving. So, basically I went to Lidl the other day and bought loads of bulking food because I'm on a bulk. I'm trying to get huge because, quite frankly, I lose weight like that. So, I need to eat a lot. But, yeah, this is my little snack collection now. So, we've got loads of rich tea biscuits, we've got loads of caramel wafers. We've got dark chocolate, we've got mango, we've got porridge oats, <laughs> we've got breakfast bars and just like random brand bits and water, obviously. So, yeah, let's... I right, can we go for the pepper army fire sticks because these are beautiful. Uh, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna hit a time lapse of me trying to sort this out. Nice. It's all done, as you can see, but I'm a couple minutes late to my lesson, so yeah, I'm hop on that now. And then after the lesson's done, I'll give you a quick tour of that, and then we'll chuck all of the uh, all of the rubbish away. Nice. Okay, so 
for this online lesson, we're basically just doing mechanics questions. So I thought, you know what? You liked the um, answering questions with me last time. We did a bit of physics uh, homework. But yeah, it got some good feedback. So I'm gonna do that again quickly for one of these mechanics questions. I'll give you one that I've actually already answered so I can kind of work through my thought process. So this is the question. What we've got, oh, if that focuses, come on, come on. There we go. So what we've got is we've got a 30 kilogram box on an inclined plane at 20 degrees and it's going up the ramp from point A to point B, it's 50 meters apart, and you've got a coefficient of friction down the slope of a quarter. So first of all, what I did is I started by drawing a diagram and I modeled exactly the same thing, but with all of the forces acting on it. So I've got the weight, I've got the resultant force, I've got friction coming down, the force putting it up, and the distance, etc., etc. I've also written down that the coefficient of friction is, no, is a quarter, and that's what the coefficient of friction equation relates to. So I've got the frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction times the resultant force. Now, we're asked for the work done in dragging the box from A to B. So my initial thought was, okay, so we've got to find the work done by friction in the direction of the force. So it would be a negative answer. So what I did is I found the frictional force right, sorry about with that, guys. that equation. Hold on, let me just mute this. I found the frictional force with that equation and then I used that frictional force with the equation work done is force times distance. Inverted that because it was going up and the force was acting down. So the total work done was negative three, four, five, 3.4 joules basically meaning that it lost three and a half thousand joules to thermal energy however what i did forget to consider was the fact that it also gains uh, gravitational potential energy obviously i should have thought that but for some reason i'm caught up in the work energy principle because that's what we're doing at the moment and i don't know it just seems like a weird concept it shouldn't seem like a weird concept it should be really intuitive but for me it seems to oversimplify things um so i'm finding myself oversimplifying it because i think it's being oversimplified in the concept Concept, when in reality it's not, so I've just got to do what I was doing to begin with. Yeah, okay, so part B. Part B is pretty straightforward. Um, it basically says it's released from point B, the, the box that is, and then you've got to find the velocity when it comes down to point A, if that wants to focus, when it comes down to point A there. Cool. So what I'm doing with all of these types of questions is SUVAT, so I'll basically write down all of the information we know. So we've got the distance, we've got the initial velocity of zero because it starts at rest. We don't have the acceleration, but that's where I use all of the forces in the information we've got to find one of these unknown variables so that we can use the equation to find the other unknown which is the final velocity so what i've done is i've used f equals ma i found the resultant force acting on the box in the negative direction or downwards direction use that with the equation v squared equals u squared plus 2as so the final velocity is a square root of zero because initial velocity is zero squared add 2as which is 2 by 1.05 because that was the acceleration we found with f equals ma times times 50, which is S, which is the distance. And that gives us a velocity of 10.24. And that was the right answer. Nice. Yeah, so that's another little segment. Hope you've enjoyed that little one. I'm gonna crack on with the rest of these questions. Okay, lesson's done now, which is all good. So we're finished for the day. It's now quarter past one, about 20 past actually. So I'm gonna go have some lunch. Um, before I have, oh no, do some more editing for the business video that's going live at 5 p.m. But first of all, obviously the chair's been built. I don't think I can legally not make a little cinematic, cinematic montage of the chair. So enjoy, <laughs> and then we'll crack on with lunch. <laughs> So yeah, that's the chest. Pretty sick. Right, that's time.
just got back from lunch, just done all of that. And it is now, hold on this time, what do you mean? Oh, three o'clock, so for the last, at this point in time, it would usually be when I start my school work, but because the business videos go live at five, I thought that was probably more of a priority, so I'm doing all of the business video stuff. The video is actually edited, but I just need to make the thumbnail, write the descriptions, copy all of the timestamps in, do all of that, and then take photos of all of my business cue cards, which are down there, to list on the website. So I'm gonna be doing that now, that'll probably take a couple of hours, then it'll be five o'clock ish. I'll be ready to post the video. I'll post the video. Then I'm actually going out on a walk with one of my mates, and then I'll come back and we'll do the work. Uh, now I've got to zoom at eight o'clock to discuss holidays with mates. So yeah, let's crack on with the work again. Um, coming out of lunch, I was tempted just to binge Netflix, but I used the five second rule. I said, okay, no, five, four, three, two, one. By the time I got to one, I was up, I was moving, and we were ready to go. And again, to do that more effectively, I just started listening to a motivational podcast. Not actually a motivational one, this one. It's more informational um, by Naval. Don't know if you've ever heard of him. Definitely recommend. It's more business oriented and like seeking wealth and things like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna crack on with it. It's gonna be great. Take photos of these cue cards and then we hit the book. Let's go. Okay, that actually took so much longer than I thought, but it's, it's all good. The video's now up. I'm just reading all your comments and replying to all of those, as you can see. But time is now half five. Oh my God, I just dropped my phone. Jesus. Time is now half five. We're ready to go. I'm gonna go on a walk with one of my mates and then we're gonna get back there and finish some more work. Nice. See you in a bit. Okay, so I got back from the walk. Um, I had dinner, had dinner with family and now I'm back up. I am so tired. I literally die. <sighs> but it's okay. Um, so it's currently quarter past seven. Going on a Zoom call at eight. So we're not going to get the two and a half hours, but we've done loads of other stuff today. I'm going to do 45 minutes of physics cue cards. So gravitational fields. I'm going to make those as many as I possibly can. I don't think we're finished in 45 minutes. But we'll get a decent amount done, and then it'll be on to the Zoom to discuss holidays and stuff. Uh, and then Sainsbury's tomorrow, and editing this video Sunday to well as some other work. But I'm gonna come back to you after all of this with kind of a summary of how the week's gone because it's, it's been mixed, but I've learned a lot of stuff coming into it. So let's do it, let's get the work done and smash it out. Let's go. Cue cards are now absolutely finished. I can't see those nicer there. So it's Zoom time. Okay, so it's now Sunday, the day, two days after that video. So I've actually just spent the whole day editing the video that you've just seen, and I've made a video on the entire day of editing that video. So a bit of inception there, but if you wanna see like a full day of editing, the kind of the creative process and how I go about doing it, then make sure to drop a subscribe and stay tuned for that video, which is either coming out this week or next week. But otherwise, how have I found this week on the new routine? So this was actually the third week on this new routine, and I've noticed a lot of things have been really positive but also a few things that haven't been as great the first thing that i really need to address and i think is going to be helpful for all of you is acknowledging the fact that this routine isn't going to be rigid it's going to have some flexibility in it for example on the days that i don't work out i don't necessarily need to get up at 6 a it doesn't seem as much point so if i'm really busy and if i've got stuff to do then i'll get up at 6 a and do the stuff that i need to do otherwise i'll get up slightly later maybe 7 maybe 7 15 go on a walk or something and then start my day because when you don't need to do something, there's not much point in losing that extra steep for it. Obviously, it helps to stick to the routine if you do do it, and I probably recommend trying to stick to it, but it's not the end of the world if you don't manage to. Another thing that I've seen a lot of you mention is the cold showers. So I don't start cold, I start warm, I give myself enough time to kind of wash and do everything that I need to, and then for the last minute or two, I just smack it down on as cold as it possibly goes, embrace myself, and then kind of take that two minutes to become accustomed to it, take on that feeling of cold to help energize myself and get on with the day. But then again, that flexibility that I mentioned a minute ago, that can be taken into other areas as well. For example, the first week I mentioned the fact that those two hour periods of work didn't necessarily have to just be for revision. It was initially for revision so I could catch up on all that I needed to do, but then I could start to use it for other things. For example, on the Friday, the one that you just seen, I used it to make the GCSE business video, whereas throughout the week already I'd use it for revision. So you can kind of use that two hour period to do the things you need to do, but don't 
obviously use that as an excuse not to do revision because you probably should give the majority of that time for revision but it's just not like an, a necessity kind of thing but yeah I, I never really want to make these videos kind of like unrealistic so it would be quite hard to stick to this routine to the T the entire time which is why you allowed that flexibility with it but having said that a few things that I'm going to be doing or trying to incorporate more of over this next month or two is a the five second rule that was really helpful and just making sure I get out of bed when I set the intent to do so so not kind of like trying to snooze through my alarms and things because I have done that a couple of times on the days I don't have a workout but then also listening to motivational like audiobooks and blinks so I linked blinkist in the last video um that's really helpful but also this podcast by Naval I think it's called how to get rich but that's kind of a, a false title it's more seeking wealth and he explains that in the podcast but I just grab a coffee or grab like a drink or something like that wipe my headphones in and take a walk around the block to listen to that and that's really helpful it kind of motivates me to tackle the things that I need to be doing because it kind of it gives me an alternate perspective and makes me realize that actually the stuff that I think is hard and that I'm putting off because for some reason I could justify putting it off in reality you can't justify putting it off and you should just get on with it so that's quite refreshing but yeah other than that this week three has been a brilliant week it's really been helpful sticking to this routine so I'd highly recommend getting some sort of clarity and some sort of routine into your day-to-day -day lives no matter kind of how that is if you want to incorporate this routine specifically or another one but otherwise if you want to see any more things in these videos or anything else that hasn't been in it so far drop them in the comments also drop a comment about anything that you liked anything that I can continue to do in these videos otherwise I do hope you've enjoyed if you have don't forget to drop a like hit the subscribe button follow me on Instagram which is down there and Snapchat down there I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching I live inside my own world of make-believe